Hey, welcome to Ukenic. In this video, we're going to show you how to test the instrument cluster on a Mercedes. Now, uh, what you can do, and what I mean by testing, is you can uh, send commands to the instrument cluster to activate those needles, see if they go uh, reach uh, the complete range. You can turn on the lights, make sure that um, lights are working. So if you suspect uh, one of the lights has been removed or uh, you know, damaged or is burned out or things of that nature. You can. We're going to use the scanner to turn on all the lights on and test a couple other things. So we're going to use the Ucanic full system scanner, and I'll I'll show you what where you need to go in order to carry out this uh, this test. So you're going to start over here. Once you select your make and model, you're going to go to control modules, and then you're going to go to information and communication. You're going to go to instrument cluster and now we have entered the instrument cluster control unit so you, of course here you can look ecu information hardware software versions and things of that nature you can read codes this will just be codes that uh, might be uh, have to do with the instrument cluster right you can look at some live data as well but what we're interested in is active tests. If you go to active tests, we have a number of uh, tests that we can perform here. Or, so let's go to one, warning buzzer, and then we press three. So you can hear that. Our mechanical instrument pointers. So this, with this uh, test, we make the needles go from their minimum range or from zero to max. So I'm going to press activate here. You see that needles went to zero. Now they go all the way down to where they're supposed to, to go now. Um, again, if you look, for example, at the fuel gauge, uh, that fuel gauge dropped to zero and then it went up to max and then it came back to where it's supposed to be. So all the needles, if they're working properly, they'll go to zero. Uh, look one more time. All right. And then you see they go to max. So if you got a needle that's not working, maybe you think it's not showing the correct uh, value, maybe the instrument cluster was repaired and the needles were put in the right position, then this will kind of confirm that. So that's something that you can you can easily check. So let's go back here. Multifunction. Uh, we can run a couple of. Um, uh, we can make. The background on the or the central display on the instrument cluster we can change that we can create we can make it white and then it says also you test a red image it's a little hard to see and it's not really too much of a difference uh, but it's also a little hard to see on the through the camera so you can check that if you suspect any um, any burn uh, pixels on that central display indicator lamps all right so here we can turn on all the lamps as you can see here we have the ignition on so a bunch of these lights are already on but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start the car and then we do have a check engine light on here so that's going to stay on but all the other lights should turn off and then we're going to use the scanner to activate all the lights and make them all come on so that we can uh, verify and check which ones were working, not working. So let's start the car. I didn't see seat belt light was on, and so the check engine light still stays on. Now, if I activate all the uh, lights on the dash of, of the instrument cluster, you can see they all come back on, and I can turn them off, on, off. As you can see there so that's a pretty one like if you suspect somebody for example has removed that airbag light um, of course you can just technically that should turn on when you first turn on the ignition there's the airbag light uh, that's one that should turn on automatically but there's a few that you can see that don't turn on when you turn on the ignition so those ones you can um, test them with the scanner so basically here we have all the lights on all right okay 
and you can set instrument cluster illumination so this will make the instrument cluster dimmer or brighter I think it's maximum brightness right there but let's turn that down bright dim bright dim you can see all right all right and then over here is a last test but this one is not supported on this vehicle uh, segments of the speedometer so uh, that's it that's how you do activations and testing on the instrument cluster on a Mercedes now these options there are they, they are a little bit vehicle specific so some of the older models you might not have the the option to do any um, active tests some of these tests that we did here but uh, that's that's pretty common on most Mercedes you can check those things activate all the lights and the needles and the warm warning buzz and all that and it's a good test to check an instrument cluster if you suspect uh, some needle is not working properly maybe it has a bad motor and the cluster needs to be um, repaired now keep in mind a Mercedes Benz cluster uh, if you replace or if you install a, a used cluster it's not going to have the correct mileage and so what will happen is that uh, when you install the cluster the cluster communicates with the ignition switch and verifies the mileage so it, the mileage of the cluster need to my just the mileage they're stored in the ignition switch if they don't match you end up instead of showing miles it shows dashes on the instrument cluster and that's an indication that that uh, instrument cluster is either being replaced with a used one or it's new one it has not been programmed uh, to match the mileage on the vehicle so uh, hopefully we found this uh, video helpful and thank you for watching mechanic where you can be a mechanic bye